I am super excited uh, to take you on this journey um, of telling you a bit more about um, artificial intelligence and how it can transform your um, work in Hive um, and beyond. I am double excited because I use artificial intelligence every single day for my projects and also for personal stuff. This is what we're going to cover in today's session. We are going to try to demystify um, AI in work software and also where you can find it in the wild. We're going to tell you where you can find it in Hive, just in case you um, don't know this already, how it works specifically in Hive. We're going to give you a live demonstration and we're here to answer any questions that you uh, have. You can also do this by waiting till the end of the session uh, and submit your questions uh, through the Q&A in Zoom. We can also answer some of your questions uh, during the session. So feel free to ask away at any point. Um, your host today, we've got with us Michaela Rawlings, who's our head of marketing, and she's going to be uh, showing you Hive Mind in action in Hive in the application. Nicole Halpert, who's our product manager for um, artificial intelligence, and myself, who's going to be driving this session. Um, you may have seen some of these uh, press headlines in the past few months or a few weeks, and you might recognize some of these names, OpenAI, ChatGPT. Um, ChatGPT, oh, sorry. I've got it. I've got a poll popping up here. Uh, ChatGPT and um, and Dali. You might have seen last week uh, Microsoft announcing that is going to incorporate artificial intelligence into its Bing search engine. You might have also seen some of the images that were created by artificial intelligence uh, by um, an application called Dali. What's behind the scenes of all of this is a company called OpenAI. OpenAI is a research company. It's a, it's a group um, consisting of researchers, engineers, developers, and investors, including Microsoft and, and Elon Musk. And their one, one general purpose is to build out AI technologies that are going to positively shape humanity's future and also, in our case, help you work much faster and um, and better. What we've got here is what OpenAI and HiveMind actually says about each of these um, things that you have seen in the headlines, ChatGPT, DALI, and OpenAI. I just want to demystify it further for you. ChatGPT is an AI-powered bot, which allows you to have a, a conversation, a human-like conversation with artificial intelligence. DALI transforms your text prompts into images. And OpenAI API is this layer that lies and powers um, ChatGPT and DALI. And basically, these are artificial intelligence language models that are trained on the entirety of our knowledge that is accessible on the internet through national archives empowers um, those chatbots and the um, model that turns your text into into images the best thing about this is that both bing search engine and our hive mind which is our artificial intelligence engine in hive are all powered by open ai so we've got a power of artificial intelligence, which is developed by the best possible artificial intelligence engineers at our fingertips. Uh, you can see we've got OpenAI layer on top that feeds into the chat GPT. So this is more conversational, uh, conversational um, ability to ask questions and also DALI, which is that image creator. At the moment, HiveMind and Hive uh, is the only project management tool in the marketplace that is powered by AI, by OpenAI specifically. Um, you can find it in notes um, if you want to create any content with the help of HiveMind Assistant. You can also find it in notes if you want to create any images from your text prompt, in action cards, and in Hive Mail. How to think about HiveMind and this layer that we've got in, um, in Hive? 
You might have also seen the rise of AI writing assistants, and they are listed here on the left hand side. So that's Jasper AI, Copy AI, and WriteSonic. All of these are built on the same technology on OpenAI. They offer um, a very structured way of interacting with OpenAI and artificial intelligence. And they are specifically built to create a lot of different types of content. Hive Mind allows you to do everything that these AI writing assistants do. However, it does it in a more in-depth, detailed, and less structured way in our Notes app. What, are the, uh, what I mean by this is that you can ask very detailed, very in-depth questions, depending on how you ask it and what you request. That it's not only limited to creating content, but also manipulated that content and asking any questions that you would normally ask uh, Google search engine. So you can have a few examples here on the right hand side. You can use it for a product name generator. You can summarize your text so it's easily understood by a second grader. Um, you can extract keywords from your um, from your content. Here are just a few examples that I played with last night um, that are not related to creating content uh, using AI. Um, if, for instance, you want to arrange certain, uh, certain words in alphabetical order, HiveMind can do it for you. If you need to um, find out what is the distance between two places, uh, HiveMind can do it in a matter of seconds. Uh, or, for instance, if you want to do some math, you can do it in Hive Mind as well. I have mentioned already that the difference between Hive Mind and AI Writing Assistants uh, lies in the fact that we give you the sort of a closer connection to open AI and allow you to ask more questions in a more detailed way, which basically means that everything lies in the power of your prompt whatever you want to ask if you can make it as detailed as in depth as specific using as many criteria as you possibly can that is going to get you to the closest possible results to what you are looking for and here we've got um, an example of me trying to write an article about bees in a listicle format in a friendly tone that includes descriptions of five types of bees and the resulting um, content on the right hand side. Why do we say it's 2021 fresh? This is one thing that um, separates Google search um, from um, AI search. AI search is trained on information that exists, but it can only do it so fast. So for instance, if you're looking for any statistics from 2022 and 2023, it may not be able to deliver it because it's only being trained on the knowledge that exists up to 2021. It changes absolutely every single day, but it's best to check uh, whether, especially with statistics and compare it with Google search. So let's talk about where we can find AI, Hive Mind Assistant in Hive. The first place is in our notes app. Um, all you can do is just open a note, click on the plus sign, and you will see our hive mind um, assist there in the box. What it will allow you to do is to create any content you possibly can imagine. Um, you can use it for um, doing first drafts of blogs, articles, business proposals, whether you're trying to write an online ad or product descriptor or even uh, an email that you want to include specific content. You can write content and you can also transform content. So for instance, if you've got uh, a piece of content and copy that you have already written, you can paste it into the um, Hive Mind Assistant and you can ask Hive Mind to do certain things to it. And um, you can check grammar, you can spell check it, you can shorten it to a specific length, you can expand it, you can extract keywords. There, it's, the possibilities are absolutely limitless. You can also change tone. So you can go from friendly to professional, from professional to lawyer-like. Lawyer, lawyer uh, we recommend notes, um, as hive mind in notes for very specific use cases. So it's cutting down time that you usually spend using Google search on research, especially for statistics or just general knowledge on our customers. Tell us that it 
cut down the time if it took something several hours to now a matter of seconds literally uh, creating outlines and uh, and first drafts brainstorming ideas and you know, editing also um all the content and doing first pass translations and i would like to take this this moment to say that even hive mind if you ask it uh is your writing better than a human being's writing? We'll admit that it is not. Um, we still need writers. What artificial, artificial intelligence cannot do, it cannot think critically, it cannot be creative. It's a language model that is trained on what already exists. It's not gonna come up with any new ideas. Another thing that you can do in notes specifically, uh, if you open, using our plus sign hive mind assist or if you go to insert image you can also create images um, from a text prompt so we recommend that you use it if you're trying to create an illustration for some of your content you're brainstorming ideas for a new logo or um, you're designing an ad that you want to publish online you can also try a few different composites together or if you want to see how different colors work together um, there's a lot of possibilities here uh, we recommend it for any idea generation and trying out artist, uh, different artistic mediums you can see here this is a, a, an example from open ai um, they are they were trying to create an image from this prompt here with teddy bears mixing chemicals a mad scientist in three different style, uh, styles one of steampunk one of the saturday morning cartoon and one of digital uh digital art and you have seen this image already this is created by dali so the app um, of open ai and it's published on wikipedia and you can see what hive mind created when i asked it just before this webinar um, to do exactly the same and uh, no images are going to be the same there's always going to be a difference it's the same thing with uh copy as it is with uh, with images it will never be repeated next place where you can find um you can find artificial intelligence in is an action cards we believe that this can cut down a lot of time that you're spending detailing next steps for your project all you have to do is open an action card write the title of basically what you're trying to achieve let's say that you want to open a new bakery in los angeles um, but you have no idea where to start if you write this down it's like open write steps uh to open new bakery in los angeles uh and you click on our little hive mind um hive mind logo there we will pull up next steps for your project, which you can then uh, translate it into sub actions and save uh, and just go from there. You can also edit them on the fly before you add them as sub actions. Um, what we recommend using AI in action cards for is just cutting down that time detailing a process. It's especially useful if you have no idea where to start. Um, and also if you want to onboard new employees and give them new projects to, to work on last place where you can find ai in hive and this is my favorite because it saves me tons and tons of time it's in hive mail if you've got hive mail enabled in hive what you can do is look at the email that you have just received click on reply and then click on our hive mind logo and what it will do it will write an automatic response based on what you have received which you can also edit so for instance, for simpler emails, it's confirming that you're gonna be an attendance or declining attendance, anything like this, you're gonna be able to do this literally with one click. I'm gonna pass this over now to my colleague, Michaela, who's going to show us Hive Mind in real life. Hi, everybody. I'm, we were getting a few questions that I've answered about where to find Hive um, and Hive Mind. So I'm quickly going to hop in to share my screen. So on my screen, you're going to see an example of several prompts in a Hive note. Can you see my screen, Suze? Oh, 
I can okay. see it. You can? Awesome. Thank you. So here we have a known hive. You look at it, you, you've seen this before, right? Um, the note isn't going to come filled out with these lovely prompts, but I decided to pull together some prompts to show you what hive mind can do. So here we've got prompt one, write a thousand word article about bears in a listicle format and a friendly tone with a few other qualifiers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Obviously, when you go to do this, you might not have something to copy, but anything that comes to mind, you could click on this plus sign here, click on this magical hive mind assist button, which is live currently in everyone's workspaces. You're going to uh, either paste your prompt or you're going to type in in real time a prompt that, that comes to you. And then you're going to click generate text. High mind is going to be off to the races and is going to generate text in line with what you've requested. I just pressed keep for this text so it would stop typing so we could continue the demo. But here uh, it would generate the exact prompt that you have requested to the exact specifications that you've mentioned. Um, another example here, write a business proposal for a new makeup company that uses organic materials starting out in New York City led by Taylor Swift. This is my... I would love to purchase product from this company. Um, so here you would just go to Hive Mind Assist. Again, if you have trouble locating it, it's as simple as clicking this blue plus sign and you can find this uh, little icon here. You place your prompt in and you click generate text. And here in real time, it is going to spit out uh, content directly from uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT. And this is going to be proprietary content that no one has ever seen before. So even if you, even if Sue's put in this exact prompt on her end, it's going to give you something different every time because that's how uh, OpenAI works. Um, and you can see here, uh, it says here, like I said, keep. It says try again at the bottom or it says discard. If I clicked try again, it's going to go at this again from you know a slightly different lens, still obviously from the ChatGPT um, arsenal. And it's just going to come up with additional content that is in line exactly with the prompt that I've written um, with a slightly different tone. Um, and as Sue's mentioned, the more specific you can get, the better. So the more I give, the more information I give Hive Mind in these prompts, the easier it's going to be for it to get it right on the first try for me, which is what we all want, because that is going to save us time. Um, another idea I had here was, can Hive Mind write a press release for me? This is a very specific format that is often, I mean, it's not the most fun thing to create. We all know it's a very specific format with a very specific goal. So you can see here, I've typed in my prompt, I click generate text and it's off again. So it's coming up with uh, a specific press release for, we got specific, we said a wearable technology for your pinky that can be sold at Best Buy. And it has named the product. It has come up with a, a exact format for a press release. And it has given us the exact kind of formatting that uh, OpenAI has deemed uh, most logical for a press release. Um, we would also be able to, if I didn't like it, you can also press discard. And from there, it will just remove what it's done and you can try again. So you would go back and press hide mine assist and you could ask it to do the same thing again. You could change this. You could say for your hand, uh, for your ankle, and it would come up with something different every time. Uh, another great option that we've got for Hive Mind is the ability to shorten articles. Um, so this exists in uh, OpenAI, as Sue's mentioned, and this is just another application for teams. So you know, as someone who manages a content team, this is a great option because, you know, if you wanted to share something in email or on social media and you were thinking, you know, I, I can't share this whole article, I want to shorten it to 250 words, Hive Mind would then give me an exact uh, 250 word summary of the article that I'd ask it to shorten. And again, I can keep, try again, or discard. Um, the last one I wanted to take everyone through, or the second to last one, was the option to translate. So uh, OpenAI has the ability to translate text into over 400 different languages. And uh, in HiveMind, you can use the HiveMind Assist to, to, to have it do just that in notes for you. So here with the prompt, I am taking this copy that HiveMind actually wrote about OpenAI, and I'm going to ask it to translate that into Spanish. 
And again, in real time, it is going to give me a translation of this content into Spanish. Um, again, as Suze mentioned, there, um, this is a technology, so uh, it's not going to replace the creative thinking of a real human, but it is absolutely an incredible time saver in first pass. Um, so here I can say keep, and this is translated into Spanish for me. And as Suze mentioned, over 400 languages, and um, our software continues to evolve as uh, OpenAI does as well. So any advances they make in, in language abilities, we will have as well in high mind. One more thing I wanted to talk about here was the ability to create images, which I think is, I mean, just absolutely like fantastic. So here we have um, something that High Mind made me last night. So I asked it to create an image in watercolor, watercolor style, two octopuses in a cloud with a blue sky background. So it has made me this image. If I wanted to ask it to make me something similar today, but I changed a few words, so steampunk style. Um, I would just ask High Mind Assist the prompt, and then I would click this Generate Image button. So instead of Generate Text, it's the same process. You would just go through the, the exact same process to get here, but just click Generate Image, and it would create this image for you. Again, it would be an image that has never been seen before. This lovely image is a little terrifying. It gives me like Road Doll, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but um, there you go. We have an image that has not existed before. So now, now that we've talked a little bit about notes, I want to talk to you about uh, the application directly in your projects and action cards. So I know that there are a lot of times where you come to start a project and you're just thinking, okay, I, I know I have to do this one thing to get over that hurdle of starting the project, but I don't know where to get there. So here's a good example. So if I were Taylor Swift and I was creating uh, an organic makeup company like a previous example, I could think like, okay, I'm going to add this as my as my title of my task. And then I see this little icon, this high mind assist icon. And bear in mind that this icon will appear once you've typed copy text into your title of your action card, you will see this. You can click high mind assist and it will ask you if you want to do a few things. So let's say I wanted to suggest steps for me. So Hive Mind in real time, based on the data that OpenAI and ChatGPT have, it's going to come up with these steps for me, which I can then add as sub actions in Hive. And this basically takes a concept into a full blown project in seconds, which is much faster than I could have done this before. Before it would have required research, more R and D. This obviously is just the starting point if a business were to begin this way. But from here. You can edit the text, you can assign a due date as you would normally in Hive, you can change the assignee, you can do anything that you would normally do with Hive Actions uh, with this content. You can also add it to the description instead of adding it as next steps if you don't know yet if you want to take all of those um, as an actual next step, you can add this as, as a description content. So you would just plus add to description and you can see here, I stopped it before it gave us the full rundown for time's sake, but there are so many opportunities here uh, to quickly scale and iterate on ideas. So finally, as Suze mentioned, the third place right now that AI exists in Hive that you might not know about is in your emails. This is fantastic because a lot of times I know that we get so many emails in the remote, remote era and sometimes we just don't know what to say. So here's an example here. You get an email and you're thinking like, okay, I don't really know what to respond. Um, I want to just come up with a quick reply. I don't know exactly how to do it. I don't have time. You see this little hive mind logo in the corner here, suggest email reply. All you have to do is click on this, suggest email reply, and hive mind will actually come up with its your best email response option. Um, bear in mind that this is a draft. Once you click that button, it's not automatically going to send this email out to your um, to the recipient. You will have the ability to go in, edit the email, edit who it's to, add any formatting, any images. You can also press try again, which is great because sometimes it's a specific tone that you you know don't want to don't want to use or or want to go with a slightly different angle. And this really allows you to ensure that the, the language it's using is correct. Um, and from there, you can discard. Like I said, keep. If you press keep, the text is there and you're able to go in and edit it. 
I believe meeting Taylor Swift regarding, and, and you can see here, I can make this bold. I can change the, the content there. So you're not locked into a specific reply. This just gives you that great starting ground for producing um, any emails that you have or may want to reply to in Hive. So those are the three ways that I wanted to take you through uh, um, using Hive Mind and Hive. And I will say that the main thing you're going to want to keep in mind is anywhere you see that little icon, that little um, a little light bulb is where AI is going to be able to help you. And, and we're continually kind of improving and, and iterating on this. So this is just the beginning. Um, and I'm going to pass it back over to Suze to wrap us up. And th thanks so much for listening, guys. Thank you so much, Michaela. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, yes, this is, as Michaela said, this is just the beginning. Um, we are constantly working on um, making Hive um, hive, be hive mind better. Um, and we would love to obviously hear um, all your questions and also all your feedback. This is just an idea here. You can see what hive mind looks like today. Things that our um, engineers are working on on the right hand side. Uh, it may look like this in a few weeks. It may not. We would love to hear from you. It's, it's absolutely invaluable for us to understand whether you can find hive mind in hive, um, how you would like it to work. Um, we are, to a certain extent, limited by what open AI allows us to do, but we would love to make it obviously better for you. Um, we had a few questions about um, HiveMind and whether it's available um, on all the plants. Yes, absolutely it is. Um, on Hive Free and in your Hive Teams and Hive Enterprise, just to remind everybody where you can find it, because perhaps it's not as easy um, um, as one thinks. Um, if you go into notes, please um, click on the plus sign, then you will have um, you will see Hive Mind Assist popping up. It's a it's a box where you can um, enter your prompt. You can generate text there, and you can also generate um, images from Hive Mind Assist. Also, if you insert image. Um, from the same uh, from the same menu, you will be given a, an option to uh, use Hive Mind Assist to create images. In action cards, um, all you have to do is open an action card, type in the name of the action card. On the right hand side, you will see the uh, purple light bulb uh, light bulb uh, uh, icon. Click on that, and that uh, you will be able to interact with our Hive Mind Assistant um, and ask it to create some next steps and then save them as uh, sub actions. In Hive Mail, you have to click on the reply button to see again the light bulb um, in purple, and then you can ask it to reply to your email. Um, as I said, and I'm just going to uh, keep repeating it ad nauseum, uh, we would love to hear your feedback. Um, we're going to be sending out an email after the session, which is going to include a link to the webinar recording and to the deck if you want to share it with anybody else. Um, and um, a form with just a few questions and a space for uh, providing your feedback. We're going to answer all your questions now. Also, if for whatever reason um, your team couldn't attend this session and you would like them to be exposed to Hive Mind. Uh, we're very, very happy to facilitate it and, and schedule a separate session for you. 